It's a perennial game of cat and mouse on the high seas between military and naval superpower China and the outnumbered, outgunned, but not outsmarted and outlasted Philippines. And on the latest BFAR mission to Bango de Masinloc to hand out much needed fuel and food supplies to indigent Filipino fisher folk, BFAR's humanitarian and support mission vessel, the BRP Dato Tamblot, sailed for the heavily guarded waters of BDM Shoal. And the radio challenges from the Chinese militia vessels came first beginning from 33 miles away and then subsequent ones in increments of five miles or less. Then as the BRP Tamblot was 22 miles from the shoal, the radio warnings got louder. Coming from the Chinese Coast Guard that went on for the next several miles with CCG ships shadowing the Tamblot with Chinese militia vessels also on the trail. All told, at least seven Chinese militia and Coast Guard vessels tried to intimidate the BRP Tamblot with shadowing and dangerous maneuvers that came as close as 70 meters away. Still in all, the BRP Tamblot reached a mile short of the shoal and managed to distribute some 21,000 liters of fuel and a welcome stash of food and grocery supplies to the embattled fisher folk. In addition, the BFAR on the second day of the humanitarian and support mission also confirmed what it thought and feared all along, how the Chinese vessels have been exploiting and destroying the shoals and coral reefs without the slightest compunction. Sinasabi, according to Filipino fishermen, uh, yung mga Chinese uh, uh, fishermen, uh, if I'm not mistaken, ay gumagamit po ng uh, cyanide. Uh, as well as yung mga Vietnamese uh, fishers. They intentionally destroyed uh, Bajo de Masinloc to prevent uh, Filipino uh, fishing boats to fish in the area.